new Turkish light attack aircraft to make maiden flight. Turkey's locally built and developed a jet advanced jet trainer and light attack aircraft is scheduled to make its first flight in 2022 and expected to be available for delivery to customers by 2025, said in Turkish Aerospace Industries. According to the Daily Sabah newspaper, within the scope of the project project initiated by the Turkish Aerospace Industries, a protocol has been signed between the company, the Defense Industry Directorate and the Air Force's command. A protocol was signed between the Defense Industry Directorate, Air Force's Command and Turkish Aerospace Industries on July 2 on the project project, which is planned to satisfy the need for jet training aircraft to be used by the Turkish Air Forces for pilot training for the National Combat Aircraft. Under the protocol, Defense Industry Directorate and Air Forces Command will give strong support to the project. As part of the project, the project will be produced in two configurations. One of them will purely focus on training aircraft, while the second will be an armed variant of the same aircraft. In the armed variant, launch control radar, external load and fire control systems and various task systems will be added to the aircraft. In the project design phase, previous projects on training aircraft, education system and aircraft development will be benefited on a maximum level. The market size of jet training aircraft has reached an annual average of $1.6 billion in 20 years. In order to get the maximum share from the market, an ambitious schedule has been planned under the Hobjet project. It is aimed that the first flight of Hobjet will be carried out in 2022 and the first delivery will be made in 2025. Priority will be given to the use of domestically and nationally developed systems and subsystems and communication of the systems with the National Combat Aircraft in Hobjet in order to ensure the independence of operations at the maximum level, as well as to achieve targets about the global markets.